Hello, this is Jim Pellegrino, your host for the hour. In our first segment, we welcome our first guest, Lisa Wilson Foley. You founded, owned, and been part of selling, perhaps certainly president of many businesses. Tell us about, pick three or four out and give us a little bit on your health care and your entertainment businesses. Okay. Um, well, first, let me just tell you, at 29, I started my first company. It was a marketing company. And I thought, you know, I can teach nursing homes how to market themselves. But what happened was I realized that to market themselves, they needed to discharge more people into the community. And the word of mouth would get more people to come back. And they said, well, we have to do more rehab. So I put my physical therapy hat up and I said, well, I know how to do rehab. I can help get therapists. And before I knew it, I had a 300 company of therapists that started from a little marketing company. So it was very serendipitous. And I feel that small business really can be that economic engine that really can get our economy moving again. Um, that we need to pay attention to the little guy, not only the big UTCs of the world, but the mom and pop stores or the small tech firms that are starting up. Um, you know, one of the things that I always say is, I say to my kids, I said, you know, don't think about who you want to work for. Think about what you want to make. Think about what company you want to have. And we need to start our kids younger. Um, you know, we start talking about entrepreneurialism in high school and college. And that's what's going to give us back our, our Yankee ingenuity. One, right? mm -hmm. What does it take to have government be a successful partner with entrepreneur? I mean, is it capital? Is it credit? Is it underwriting? Is it incentives for hiring people? Is it none of the above and get out of my way? Well, I've talked to a lot of manufacturers, small manufacturers in Connecticut, and you know what they said? Leave us alone. If government gets out of our way, we can create the jobs. But getting out of the way means a little bit less taxes, you know, not putting all of the expense on small business. Mm -hmm. Like, let them do their job. Um, I think that is, that if we can get the right um, ingenuity back in Connecticut, the people that want to take risks, and government's not going to cut them off at the, you know, shoulders, then I think we'll have more jobs and we'll get those people to say, I'm going to be in Connecticut. I'm going to live here. I'm going to move here.